I find I do a lot more talking than I do showing with this, but that's because I don't have the camera out until I don't have my gloves on anymore. And frankly, I don't like to get too close to the highs without wearing gloves. Sometimes the bees get, cr get cranky. So this is what happened. I checked this hive, and it's there's no eggs, no brood, no nothing. No queen in there. Uh, it's just right full of nectar and, and honey. But there's no, no baby bees in there at all. Then I checked this hive here, and it's got a bunch of eggs and brood and fresh brood in it. So that's interesting. So that means I must have moved the queen from there over to there, and I don't even know I did it. So that's not really the way you're supposed to do it, but it's the way I did it apparently. I checked on this side where I thought I got rid of all my drone layers, and there's no more drone layers, but there was three separate uh, queen cells hanging off of one uh, frame. So, I cut two frame ce uh, queen cells off of that frame, and I put one queen cell in here. I cut out a chunk of wax, and I just put the queen cell right inside there, and the other queen cell is right here. That's my other queen cell. And I have another nuke box at the other end of the farm here. And so I'm going to put that other that queen cell in the other nuke box if there's not already queen cells in there. So we have lane, high, uh, queen, uh, lane bee in here. I couldn't find the queen, but I put every bee down this bottom part. And I put the queen excluder on top. <laughs> so I'll come back and check a couple days if there's eggs up here. I'll know I missed her, but she should be down here because they're all down there. On this side, on this one, there is one frame that has one good queen cell on it. So hopefully that'll hatch and do well. Uh, I don't know if the queen is over in the bushes over there where I dumped a bunch of them off the other day or if she's down at the other end of the farm. Uh, I'm going to go check the other end of the farm and see if there's any eggs being laid there. And then I'll know if that queen's down there or not. That's a th sad thing to admit when you're a beekeeper that you have trouble finding the queen. So that's kind of an important part of the, this whole beekeeping thing. But if you can't find the queen, at least you can find ways around it. Like learn how to use queen excluders and how to shuffle them down and up and look for signs of where the queen is. You know, sometimes you just got to go with the next best thing. Anyway, if you're still watching these haas, I hope you're learning a lot from my mistakes. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to go check the other hive out. I may or may not take pictures of it. Depends how interesting it is. Uh, this is all this equipment is going back in the truck. Uh, yeah, so. No queen. Full of honey. Some bees. Nothing really going on in there. And then, uh, this is where the action's at. This one here is where the action's at, this side. And on this side, there will be action shortly once that queen hatches in another 24 days. The hatch date, I figure, is approximately July 16th, but who knows. It's been an adventure. <laughs>